Hello and welcome to Pick of the Flicks, our weekly show where we give you fabulous film suggestions and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to go and see them. Spoiler alert, that might be a hint towards one movie that's out this week. Anyway, here's our picks for this week. First up, and oh my god, why do I do this to myself? We have The Nun. This is a horror thriller about a priest with a haunted past sent by the Vatican to investigate the death of a young nun in Romania who is confronted by an unholy force in the form of a demonic nun. The movie is linked to The Conjuring movies, which if you like those, I'm very confident you will like this. Apparently this is one of the scariest movies of the year, and after watching the trailer, who am I to disagree? I sithed my pants. My diaper's gone over to the dark side. I got pages of these, I could go on. It's out now, and if you want my advice, don't go alone. Hello. Ah, this is more like it. Next up we have family favourite Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. This time around, love could be in the air for Dracula whilst he's on holiday with his family, but is all what it seems. It has great vocal talents from the likes of Adam Sandler, Selena Gomez, Kevin James, Steve Buscemi, and many more. This looks funny, fun, and a fantastic movie for the family to enjoy. It's out now, so check it out. Must have been garlic in the guacamole. Is that deadly for you? <laughs> Was that you? And finally, we learn that the best intentions often come back to haunt you as Ethan Hunt, his IMF team, and some familiar allies find themselves in a race against time after a mission goes wrong in Mission Impossible Fallout. This is the latest movie in the long-running series, and in my opinion, they just keep getting better and better. The action, the stunts, the story, it's fantastic. This follows on from the events of the last movie, which means we are treated to another on-screen outing for Sean Harris as Solomon Lane, which is great news, as I thought he was amazing. Tom Cruise also shows age is just a number and the rest of the cast are on top form too with the notable addition of Henry Cavill and the moustache that caused quite a bit of drama earlier in the year. Looks quite good to be fair. Anyway, I don't need to talk this up anymore, it's my pick of the week and I urge you strongly to go and see it. That's all we have time for this week. What do you think? Good? Bad? Somewhere in between? Well, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell us. In the meantime, keep checking out ScreenBooMovies.com for all the latest movie news and trailers. Thanks for watching, and remember... This film will self-destruct if not properly stored.